In the previous video tutorials we have actually explored all of the options available within WordPress 4 and by now we should have some knowledge to actually go ahead and actually build some web pages. And that is exactly what we are going to do in the next couple of tutorials. First of all we're gonna start with a blogging website. So we are going to build a website that's going to be used for blogging. I have already done that and this is what my site looks like. So I have the menu right at the top. I have some sort of a logo, I have the social icons here, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Google Plus and so on and, uh, and then I have my article, okay? So first of all what we need to do is we need to install a theme, so we have seen how to do this before and basically the whole process of actually building a web page and in this particular case that's a blogging web page is first of all you have to download the theme that you would like to use, then you have to install it, then you'll go ahead and install all the required plugins and maybe sometimes you would need to install some of the widgets as well, then you actually go and customize it and then your site is basically ready to be used and you can write all the blogs that you want. So I've done a couple of those steps already, so basically I have published some some posts here, some blogs, so if I go to posts and view all posts, as you can see I have some uh, posts on Zurich, London, Singapore, Sydney, New York and Paris. Basically the whole idea is to have a web page that's going to be informative about traveling in different places. Also what I've done is I have created a few different categories, so if I go to categories, I will see that I have Australasia, I still have the computers as I did in the previous tutorial and actually what I'll do, I'll actually delete this particular category as I'm not using it. Okay, so I have Australia and Asia, Europe, our trip, rec recommended, destination US and what's next. So basically as we've seen before when we actually create a post or a blog in this case, we would go to add new. And here we'll write the title and then the whole description here and we can actually enter some uh, media as well as we have seen before and also we can choose the category here where, where this particular blog will actually be located. Alright so I've done that and as you can see if I go to my dashboard you can see my activity that I have actually created a couple of those posts and if I go to my web page those posts those posts are displayed here and as you will see later they're actually located in these different categories so for example for Australia and Asia I have all the articles regarding Australia and Asia and that's um, the articles which I actually created and created them in a category called Australia and Asia okay so let's go back and first of all like I said we will have to install a theme if we go to appearance and we select themes and we will be shown with all the available themes on our server. Now the one I have chosen is this Hero or Hydro or however you want to pronounce it and once again to add a new theme you would go, go to add new and I'm going to search for it so Hyro And there's the theme that I actually installed. We can have a look at all the details and previews. You can have a read about the version 1.4 which you're actually downloading here. You can have a look at all the actual elements that you're downloading, more tags, HTML links, category hierarchy, which is something that I strongly suggest you put if you are actually building a blogging website. And then there's just a simple there's just a simple uh, block here down the bottom as well. Okay, so basically I went and I actually installed that. Once I have that installed, what I did is actually when you go to the dashboard, if this particular theme actually requires any of the plugins, those will be actually displayed here. Of course, we can always go to plugins and have a look at all the installed plugins. Alright, so all the plugins that I currently have here, some are for the other themes and those are not used but some are actually for this particular theme and also sometimes when you actually install the plugin you'll actually get a new menu here, so for example there's a product review and retrieve old posts, however both of these um, plugins are not used for this particular theme and therefore uh, they're just standing there, you can actually go and uninstall them as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how we actually customize our site as we have actually uh, installed the theme and we have installed all the required plugins and the important thing is when you actually do install the plugins, you actually activate them. So once you have installed them, 
uh, you would actually have instead of deactivate here you would have activate so if I go and deactivate this particular plugin I can just click on activate and this will actually activate this particular plugin and like I said if there are any options with that plugin you can actually find the, pro the options under here so so you would find a separate menu in this case that's not what's happening all right so let's go ahead so we installed all the required basics so once again we installed the theme we have installed the plugins and now we are ready to actually start customizing our site now to do that we'll go to appearance and we'll go to customize okay now it all depends on what kind of theme that you're using so for this particular theme i had to go to themes and then customize to actually get into customization of this particular theme there's some other um, themes that you can actually find a separate menu in the main menu which is on the left hand side just like I had a look at the um, plugins you would probably have a theme that's actually a link to a theme settings and there you can actually change all the required settings as well so this is something that we have seen before so this particular theme uses the general WordPress for customiz customization and right at the top you would have the general if you click on the general the first thing is to upload your logo and I'll just remove this logo and as you will see here this is a live preview the log will disappear in a second okay so what i did i actually went and selected the image and from my media library i have uploaded some of my files some of my pictures and including this particular logo which i would like to use i will select it and choose image all right so this will be my logo and it will be displayed right at the top instead of my actual uh, name here travel blog all right all right, moving a bit now, we'll come to the something that's called a fave icon. So basically, fave icon usually appears right at the top of your page. So this is actually appearing at the tab in the left corner. So basically, I have chosen this particular uh, image and it has to be PNG. So if I was to remove it once again and I can select it and this is the image PNG image that I'm using, you can see here that this is uh, called image and the file extension is png just so make sure that it's actually png and once you actually um, click on choose image it will be resized to particular size and it will be used like i've said as your five icon now this particular theme also has a few options if you're using an apple product and basically i'm not going to do that because this is something a bit more extra for people that are into that are going to use um, Apple Apple products such as iPad and so on. Basically, you would have Apple Touch icon here, which is to be 144 by 144 pixels. Then you would have a smaller one, which is 114 by 114 pix uh, pixels. And then you would have a one that's even smaller, that's 72 by 72. And the last one is actually 57 by 57. All right, so you can set those and make sure you got your images as, as indicated here and you would exactly do the same you would follow the same procedure you would actually select an image and then that image will be used as your um, apple touch icon okay. all right so the next option here is to do with the content basically this is how everything is displayed and basically you have three options here and it says here check the boxes below to display the content instead of the extra all right so basically i will clear this search and i'll just leave the second option uh, selected here and should we move down below we'll find actually single post pages basically we're talking about let me have a, let me show you single post page is for example when i hit on continue reading all right so basically this is a single post pages where you actually have all the way down the bottom you actually have where you can actually leave your comment and um, you can write your comment and hit on post and that comment will be pasted or you know shown here and your username and then people after reading your this article they can actually read your comment and they can reply as well so this couple of options here will actually enable you to show featured images on this post for example the first one i think that's a good idea then it will actually allow you to show featured image on pages so let's have a look here it's been updated so this is a feature image for this particular article and i have just selected this so if i unselected this uh, photo should disappear from here okay i'll actually put it back and you know when we're actually uh, creating a blog you have an option there to select a featured image apart from actually you know selecting all the images that you would like to be um, included in your content and basically all this is all some 
some text here just a sample text it doesn't have any meaning and basically I have just used that as an example to show how it will look on the web page okay so this second option here is like I said to actually show the feature image on all pages so if I was select if I was to select this one and if I went back to my first page my landing page this image should be displayed there as well okay all right and the last option here is to actually hide the uh, be or the bio of a uh, author on a single post and what that actually means if I was to go into a single post so I'll hit on this continue reading and get into a single post for this particular blog all right if I go all the way to the down all the way to the bottom this is the actual bio that we are talking about and if I was to actually select this particular option this will disappear and basically when you're setting a user this is all the information that you would set for this particular user I haven't done that I mean I haven't actually set any of the buyer and that's why there is nothing here except for this particular message okay all right the next couple actually I'll leave that as checked and the next couple of options basically the first one will actually deal with actual fonts so we are talking about fonts for the headings and we're talking about the fonts to actually display in the body all right there's a big list here there's about I think uh, maybe 15 20 different fonts that you can choose from and it's quite easy you can have you can just click on a drop down menu and select whichever option you would like whichever font you would like to use for your headings and for your actual body all right the next one down is the site title and tag tagline all right so that's something that we have seen before if i was to go back to my main page and if i actually go and remove my logo instead of my logo i will actually get i will actually get the site title so if i change to this whatever this is what will actually be displayed there but also uh, right at the top on the actual tab of my page this is what will be displayed as well so I don't want whatever to be displayed there I wanted travel blog and the tagline of course is appearing just below it and also it's appearing at the top of my to of my um, tab bar as well then we move into the colors and basically I can select the main color for my theme for my actual blog okay the next option down is the site title so this is exactly what we've been talking about and if you are using the site title instead of a log you would actually select the color here so at the moment it's white I can actually get it to be yellow if I wanted to and you can see that it's actually changed to yellow all right so site description is uh, following this and at the moment it's set to gray if I was to change it to red you would actually see that it actually changed as well so that's this bottom uh, text here okay moving a bit more down the entity name so basically the entity name is the title of your article if you look at this as your article and on the main page you will actually have a brief summary of what's written for that particular article or a blog and you would have a title and at the moment I cannot see the title because my entity title color is white but if I was to change this to blue color you can see that it's actually there and it's actually changed to blue all right and then the text color is the last option here and we can change that to any color we want like we did before and maybe just to make uh, make it a bit more nicer I'll put blue something like this and I will set that 